In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the CDX closest zip function as an alternative to radius analysis. The CDX closest zip function is a formula included with our CDX Zipstream Excel add-in. The formula quickly calculates which zip code in a list is closest to a target zip code. You can find out more about CDX Zipstream by visiting our website, cdxzipstream.com. A free demo is available that will allow you to perform this analysis. No credit card or personal information is required to access the demo. You must at least install the demo for the custom formulas shown in this video to work since they are not part of Excel. The business use case we will analyze is the coverage of a set of business locations for a specific customer list. The most common example of this is a healthcare network consisting of many individual doctors and or medical facilities. A typical report requirement is to examine the coverage that this network has to its customer base. This is determined by calculating the percent of customers that are within an easily drivable distance. Healthcare is one example, but there are many other businesses that need to solve this type of problem. Let's now start Excel and take a look at a typical analysis. For this example, we've set up a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel with two lists. One tab covers our business facility list, and another tab has our customer list. In most cases, companies are reluctant to provide specific address information for employees. So the list consists of the employee zip code followed by a count of the employees in that zip code. This has no personal identifying information. The facilities list just consists of the zip code and the city name in this case. But rather than the city, you could have a more descriptive name. The actual locations here are random zip codes in Ohio. They're not real data. The lists are relatively short for the example, but the CDX closest zip formula can handle thousands more. As a first step, we are going to calculate the distance of the closest zip code for each row in the customer list. For convenience in specifying the formulas, a range name facility zip has been set up for the facility names and zip codes on the second tab. This can be done in Excel using the formula's define name menu item. This encompasses the range A2 through B22 on the facilities tab. Let's add on a new column named distance and then enter the required closest zip formula for the first item in our list. We can use the CDX Zipstream right-click formula menu to guide us in entering this formula. We specify the target zip code by entering its cell address, that's A2, and then the range name of the zip codes to analyze, that's facility zips. The return value is specified as distance, then we simply press OK to enter the formula. Closest zip calculates distance for each location in the facility list to the target zip and returns the closest one. This formula is then copied down the list to analyze other target zips. You can click on the lower right hand corner of the cell to automate this. By specifying the cell address in the formula, the added formulas are automatically referenced to the new row. The distance is a straight line distance calculation. In addition to distance, we can also return the closest zip code found by creating a new column named closest zip, and then entering the formula specifying that the first closest zip code be returned. and then copying it down the list as before.
Should you wish, you can optionally add a column named closest city and then use the VLOOKUP function to return city for the facility zips range as follows. We are specifying the cell of the closest zip, the range being searched, returning the second column, and specifying an exact match. We can then copy down our list as before. We'll next add a column named Distance Check to check which rows are less than 25 miles, which is an easily drivable distance. We'll use the if function to return the number of customers in the zip if less than 25 miles or zero if not. In this row's case, it was 31 miles, which is greater than 25, so zero is returned. This is then copied down the list. We can now calculate what percentage of customers are covered by our network. This is simply the count within 25 miles compared to the initial count. The cell was pre-formatted to return percentages. We can optionally add additional analysis for different distances to check coverage. If you wish to check out this spreadsheet, you can download it using the link in the video description below. Again, you must have CDX Zipstream installed for the custom formula CDX Closest Zip to work. Please note that CDX technology also offers solutions based on full address data with more accuracy. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. For more information, please visit us at www.cdxtech.com. Don't hesitate to contact us about our geographic access analysis tools or with any other questions by emailing support at cdxtech.com. If you would like to be alerted to new videos we release, please consider subscribing to the CDX Tech channel on YouTube and turn on notifications. These videos will also be available on our website. Thanks for listening and considering us for your location analysis needs.